it was a very exciting uh, opportunity and a very bold vision that I thought was interesting for me to leave academia and join ID Lab to help them build the company. I'm Paolo Pirgenian. I was the CEO of Evolution Robotics from 2005 to 2012 through our exit. I was working in academia uh, at a time where I met Bill, who had an uh, exciting vision to start a robotics company with an exciting name of Evolution Robotics. Uh, Bill's vision was to go and build a operating system for robotics like Microsoft did for the PC industry. In the first couple of years, we spent time to address some of the most challenging problems in robotics, such as autonomous navigation, uh, computer vision, and intelligence to allow robots to understand the environment and do autonomous tasks. So with that traction, we were able to sign companies such as Sony for the Sony Ibo robotic dog that you may have seen, Sharper Image uh, to help them develop a robotic vacuum cleaner, uh, Procter & Gamble, and other major names that you would recognize. With that traction, in 2008, uh, I was able to go raise a Series B round so everyone was very hopeful, things were going really well, we were signing more customers and we were delivering the product, we were working out with our third party uh, partners and developing really breakthrough products using our technologies. Uh, the excitement was building towards end of 2008 where we were about to launch a few products with our partners and then in October of 2008 the market crashed and all of our dreams started dwindling away when we start getting calls from our customers telling us that they're fighting for their lives and are not able to support the launch of a new product in a new category like robotics. So by end of 2008, we had lost 70 to 80% of our revenue base and things looked really bad. So at that moment, I brought my team together in a room and I said, guys, I think this is a blessing in disguise. Uh, and everyone was surprised to hear that. What do you mean by that, Paolo? And I said, well, uh, I think what this means is that this is giving us an opportunity to go pursue our own dream, which is let's launch our own product and control our own destiny. So in order to launch our own product, uh, not only did we have to reduce our technology into a product at the price points that were palatable to the consumers, we also had to figure out how to get the supply chain up and running. We had to figure out how to do manufacturing in China. We had to uh, produce a TV advertisement for our product and get retail partnerships and get product on the shelf. So we launched a product in the fourth quarter of 2010 and in just that quarter we did $5 million in sales, which we quadrupled the following year to about $22 million in sales and in 2012, we were on path to double that yet again. We got the attention of iRobot, uh, who really liked our product, they liked, liked our revenues, and they liked our technologies. So, they, in the beginning of 2012, they made an offer to us uh, to merge the companies. Uh, it was an attractive offer, and we took it. And I think that marriage made a lot of sense. We had a lot of very cool breakthrough technologies and iRobot has a massive uh, business platform, the largest consumer platform in the, in the uh, robotics platform in, in the world. And that marriage made a lot of sense. So we joined forces with iRobot and uh, all of our technologies and product and growth continues. This was a wild roller coaster ride with many ups and downs in working with the team and our investors, we were able to turn things around and have a really great ending 